Hello, Skeza Montana here with a new GTA Online video and we are doing a first thoughts on the Tuners DLC Tuners, Tuners, whatever you want to call it um, Some people say Tuners, like the can and some people say Tuners like the radio Wait a minute! Maybe you can hand out yourself one of them first class tickets to the resurrection So long man, have a good trip Um, basically, um, yeah, th this is actually pretty good DLC for um, First Thought, so I've pretty much tried everything out. Uh, I brought the Auto Shop, um, which is pretty cool. You've got like mini heists going on in there, contracts they're called. You've got the LS car meet. Basically, due to the popularity of um, people meeting up with their vehicles in random locations around Los Santos. Um, like the airport or outside the LS Customs in wherever, yeah, or car parks. They've actually added an entire location called the car meet where you're actually inside and no one can blow up your vehicles uh, like you may have seen on a stream, uh, like, a sh like on YouTube uh, or whatnot. Um, which is actually quite anti griefer which is actually not what Rockstar is usually about. They usually are more griefer um, friendly, uh, basically. Um, in other words, they don't really care and don't really do anything, or they do, but they very slowly and very minimal um, to actually counter these um, griefing um, tactics. Um, which quite clearly this game is it's not about being a griefer it's about being a, a grinder that's clearly the that's clearly it because the amount of DLC that has come out for this game now where you basically to make money yeah griefers literally have their vehicles and and um explosives and you know like sticky bombs and stuff and that's literally all they've got yeah they've got they've got their mark twos and and stuff like that but um all of the all of this stuff is actually can actually be used a lot more for actually grinding so um anyway um now that we've got that out of the way let's just let's just forget about that like um that's not what we're here to talk about we're actually here to talk about this uh, this new dlc now um Basically, um, this is also, this DLC is basically Rockstar stating, or I knew this anyway a long time ago, but uh, there's not going to be another Midnight Club game. This is basically what Midnight Club is. Free racing in the open city, also lobbies for racing against other people or the computer or whatnot. Although, unfortunately, we can't race against the computer and earn reputation points. That would have actually been really good. Um, with some AI um, uh, in there or whatnot. But uh, hey, it's um, it's all good to go because uh, plenty of content has been added with this update. Unlike the Blood Money DLC, which I might make a video on on the uh, Red Dead side of things, which I've not even tried much about because I didn't need, even need to because I already knew what it was about. Um, what I don't seem to understand about that Rockstar with the Red Dead stuff is why you can't join lobbies and randoms join. You have to be in a posse or you're playing it by yourself. Oh yeah, you can join a random posse if you want, but good luck after that because they might be doing whatever the fuck they want to be doing they might just be standing still in their camp um yeah or they might just shoot you because they're dickheads um and then you know all you want to do is is play with some people and get some missions done like in this you can just go to on your phone contact mission Randoms that already set it up, or you set it up, and then you, you invite people, or, or, or they'll just look, search for a job on their phone and they'll just join you. Um, same with the the, the highest finals. 
um, or whatnot. You can just invite people. And once you're, you, you, you've got the, the heist set up or this contracts, which is not even a heist, but it's a mini heist, basically fast and furious sort of stuff, um, which I kind of like because you've got, you, everyone gets their own car. You don't just all sit in the back of one person's car or whatever whilst one person drives. Um, so yeah, anyway, back to just this DLC. Do apologize to go off or again on there, you know, on a, <laughs> one minute I went off on about griefers, then a GTA, uh, sorry, a Rock, a Red Dead. But um, yeah, just it just baffles me why they not added that to that. Um, so yeah, let's let's go on. So uh, basically, you can um, win a vehicle every single week, okay? Which is pretty cool, um, similar to the will. But you, this time you actually have to work for it. You can't just and I don't mean work for it by turning your PlayStation off, yeah, and then loading it back up, or should I say, quitting to the main menu and then loading it back up before it saves, yeah closing the application whatever you want to call it um what i'm talking about is um this week it says you have to win a race sorry not win a race finishing the top three of a race three days in a trot and you win the podium vehicle the new podium vehicle although it's not a podium you can call it the slam truck vehicle on top of the slam truck because it's not the slam truck um so that's the new podium vehicle so you can win that every week and you can win the podium vehicle every week if you're lucky enough. Um, there's clothing and tattoos that you need to get a certain amount of reputation to get each individual clothing and tattoos in the car meet, which is pretty cool. Uh, although some of them are asking for a hell of a lot of rec reputation um, for some something which isn't even that special, if you ask me. Um, some of these hats jackets t-shirts trainers and what have you um you've got these new races called pursuit races and then you've got street races which uh, i've not actually tried out the pursuit races yet but i've tried out the street races street races are basically races on the street um pursuit races i guess you're getting chased by the police not cops and crooks. I'm sure it's not cops and crooks because if it was cops and crooks, I'm sure that would have been a big deal and I would have heard about that. Um, and for those that don't know, just in case um, anyone that doesn't know, um, cops and crooks was a mode in GTA 4 online. Uh, so GTA Online on GTA 4 um, basically. Um, it was a mode, it was a PvP mode where some people play as the cops, some people play as the criminals and um, you basically got to drive from A to B and the cops are trying to stop you and it's pretty decent mode, um, it was one of the best if not the best PvP mode in the um, the game that's not been added um, because I'm pretty sure that's not it, um, it's just going to be a um, yeah, in Pursuit, um, which is pretty cool, which is um, what I actually used to like in Midnight Club. I can't remember if they were called Pursuit Races, but the ones when you actually had the police after you in Midnight Club used to be um, my favourite races in the game because it just makes it more realistic. Your street racers, the police are going to come after you. Um, and yeah, Midnight Club, I've played every single Midnight Club game um, on the PS2. Uh, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix was actually the best one. Remix is the one that had added another city. Um, I believe the city might have been Tokyo. I can't remember. It was, it was like the extra city that they added in, in Dub Edition Remix. Um, so you had Dub Edition and then you had Dub Edition Remix. And then uh, obviously uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles on the PlayStation 3, which is what I had it on, um, which was an uh, absolutely fantastic game. Customization was insane. Uh, you could upload your customized cars to the for the world to sit to, to basically download rate or um, you could see other people's cars that they've um, well, customized themselves people were making like cars with like Sonic the Hedgehog on it and stuff um, it was absolutely um, a brilliant feature and I hope they add it into this racing uh, mode for the PlayStation 5 Keep version um, basically PlayStation Pull 5 up, and Xbox Series X and S whatever um, version um, versions or whatnot uh, because I don't think they'll be able to put it off on the PlayStation 4 right, the with all this stuff they've already got I don't know to be quite honest I'm not a 
game developer, but at the end of the day, um, they've already said that there's going to be faster versions of these cars from the Tuners DLC. See, every time I say Tuners, I don't know whether it's uh, if it's Tuners or Tuners, and I both of them sound like the can or the tin, the fish. Anyway, basically. Um, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, pretty good DLC if you ask me. Um, very good. I've still got to uh, check out most of it. Um, a, a lot or, uh, more. Do, do, do all the contracts basically for the uh, for the uh, auto shop. But yeah, um, it's pretty cool. The auto shop is um, oh, shit, is probably the best part. But like I say, I very much welcome the uh, car meet because that? it's um, it's pretty cool and um, the races as well. Um, and the, yeah, the best part actually. Um, well, the second best, or well, one of the best parts is the um, the sprints. You can just invite people and just race them in the city. Yeah, I absolutely love that because uh, yeah, it's just more it's just more it's more fun to race that way than it is to actually race in a race because with all these cars and all these players and then the 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 the, 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 the physics to the car in this game. Um, I don't know, when you get a little barge, I don't know, I seem to always fly all over the place and it's uh, players do it on purpose, it's really annoying, it's really, really annoying. In Midnight Club, that's never been a problem. Uh, Midnight Club, it's a shame, it, it's, it's a shame that that Midnight Club is not, they're not going to make a Midnight Club game. I can never, I, I can see them not make it, I don't know why. Midnight Club was my favourite racing game of all time. I used to say it was my favourite street racing game, but it's my favourite racing game. Because I used to like it way more than Need for Speed. And this is when Need for Speed actually was really like, like even Need for Speed most wanted and all that sort of stuff back in the day. I used to still prefer Midnight Club. So, um, and Midnight Club 3 I was talking about, and Midnight Club 2. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, uh, basically that'll be the end of the next video we're going to make. We're actually going to, um, on how to get all the ways to get uh, reputation points I'm just testing that out um, for the um, for, for, for at the car meet because uh, I won't mind getting the maximum amount that you need to unlock certain things that are actually matter all the cosmetics whether I get all of those or not I don't know but yeah that'll be the end of the video thanks for watching uh, I'll see you in the next one have a nice day Godspeed peace out